Hey guys, it's Jen LaForge. Welcome to my family room. I'm trying something a little bit different today. I'm filming by the Christmas tree. We've got the house all decorated and that doesn't mean that it changes the fact that it is run day Monday. Those of you that have been joining us for the last several weeks, you know that I am in training for the Walt Disney World Half Marathon. I'm documenting my training progress with you guys. And then today we have an extra bonus because I also have a whole bag of goodies here in my lovely Run Disney bag that I hope are either gifts that you would like to just forward this video onto someone that you love so that they can buy them for you, or maybe ideas for you if you have another runner in your life, somebody that you want to be able to buy the perfect gifts for. Everything I'm gonna share with you today are things that I personally use and have in some cases for years. I will put links below. Some of them will be Amazon affiliates. Some of these items come from other websites, but I'll make sure it's super easy for you to click. If it's affiliate, I mark it as such. Just know that you'll pay the same amount, but I do get a small commission every time you use those affiliate links, so it's a great way for you to show support for the channel. All right, so first things first, let's talk about my training week. So my 10K that you guys know I was training for, uh, we got an email from the race organizers saying that the course was flooded and that um, they were still gonna have the race, but that it was gonna be very muddy in two sections and that you should be prepared with a second change of shoes for after the race and expect to have uh, mud up to your ankles. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm out with all of that. Number one, because the only reason I was doing it was to hope to get a qualifying time for my run Disney races coming up uh, in the next few months. Um, it's too late for a qualifying time for January. That's already done, but I needed a new qualifying time for Star Wars in April. And when you've got a big muddy section like that, and it's not, it wasn't a, a big course to begin with, there was no way I was gonna PR because that was just gonna slow us up. And I just decided to stay home. Uh, it The week turned out to be super awesome from the perspective of family and cooking and Thanksgiving, not super awesome from the perspective of running. Um, I did get my long run done. I did seven miles yesterday, uh, but I didn't run at all aside from that. So that's not fantastic, but it's also not the worst thing ever. And we're just going to move forward. I think Thanksgiving week traditionally is always a really difficult week for me. I cook for my family um, and it, it was just, yeah. In other years, we've been traveling and on and on. I'm sure we all had a million excuses this week. I don't like excuses. Bottom line, I didn't run, but I did get my long run done, so I do feel good about that. Okay, let's move on to Christmas list items. Again, these might be for yourself. These might be for someone you love that's a runner, but I collected all of kind of the products that I use on a daily basis and that I absolutely love, that I can endorse 100%. They work well. They're very um, effective, efficient, some of them are cute, all of those kinds of things. The products I'm gonna to talk to you about uh, today, they range in price from the cheapest item that I'm gonna talk about is $6.49, and the most expensive item I'm gonna talk about is just around $100. So let's, I'm just gonna randomly pull out the different items and see what I come up with first. All right, this is the first thing I wanna show you guys, is my Nathan Quick Draw water bottle. I had experimented with a lot of different water bottles. When you run a long run, you really do want to have water with you if you're running over maybe five miles and that's true even in the winter time it's especially true in the summer but also in the winter having hydration during your run is super important the reason I love this bottle is it has this little zippered pocket right here and this is just the perfect size it's not big enough for my phone uh, although if you have a little bit smaller phone I have an iPhone 7 it well and let's just because it kind of kind of fits like let me show you like you can kind of jam it down in there, but it won't zip all the way. If you're holding it, you probably could do that. I have, um, I run in uh, pants that have pockets in the sides. So, and I get most of my running gear from Skirt Sports. I'll put their link below um, if you're interested in any of those. For women's clothing, a lot of their stuff has pockets, which is huge because you can put your phone in that pocket. Sparkle Athletic also, um, I'll put a couple of different links to the, the, the clothing uh, running stores that I like. I'm not gonna talk about that today, but I'll put the links below so you guys know where you can just go and check out for yourself. A lot of them have great sales going on right now too. 
Anyway, getting back to the water bottle. I love this because it's the perfect size for my key fob for my car and also my ID will go in here. The water bottle does not leak. Um, no, the one thing I will say is you want to make sure you squeeze the air out of it. It has one. Of, did you hear that? <laughs> Uh, because otherwise when you go to drink, if you squeeze it, you're gonna get a gulp of air and that's no fun. So do that and then you can just suck from it. This is a good size for me because I have a um, water fountain along my really long course. So if I'm running 10 miles, I will stop and refill this. I don't like some runners that do really long runs. You'll see them with those fuel hydration belts. I have this weird thing. I can't have anything around my waist when I'm running. I don't know what it is, but it literally gives me a stomach Ache. So the Nathan handheld quick draw has this great little thing and see how I'm not even I'm not even holding it really. You can just kind of set it on your hand and just rest it comfortably. So you're not gripping it, but you can just have it attached there. And I love, love, love this water bottle. So this retails for $28.60. Um, obviously you, you might be able to find some good deals right now. They sell this in most running stores. I will put a link below so that you can pick that up. Great gift for any runner, great gift for yourself. All right. What's next? In our run Disney bag. Santa, what's in our run Disney bag? <gasps> okay, socks. So I actually did a little ad campaign for this company. This is not sponsored in any way. Um, they reached out to me on Instagram and I was like runner of the week and they sent me some free socks, but that's not why I'm talking about them. I actually love, these are the Xperia socks by Thorlos. If you have anyone in your life that is training for a half marathon or a marathon, these are the best socks in the world. They're awesome because they have plenty of cushioning. They make several different styles. Some um, are warmer than others. These are kind of their, these are the Xperia. They're kind of their middle of, the, of middle weight socks. So they're not super thick. They carry a couple that are really, really thick, but these have great cushioning, uh, great support. They stay up, which is a big deal. For some reason, the way my foot is, a lot of times socks will slip down in my shoes. I do not find that to be the case with these. These retail for around $12 a pair. They're a great gift because runners can never have too many socks. We go through socks like crazy. Um, I will put the link below to these because they're easy to pick up on Amazon. Uh, I They come in fun colors. I wear a medium in these socks. I definitely, definitely recommend them. They have seen me through uh, four-time marathon training and dozens and dozens of half marathon cycles. I find they hold up really well in the wash. Uh, I haven't had holes in any of mine except for the ones my dog has chewed. Ah! Anyway, love these socks. Definitely pick up a pair of those if you have a runner that you love in your life. Okay, next thing I'm going to show you are, because it's winter, it's really cold, these are my running gloves. Now, Scott bought these for me two Christmases ago. I was able to still find them, so I'll put the link below. These are by Head. These are $30. Um, you can find them, kind of shop around, um, but around $30. The reason I love these is because they have the tech fingers on them right here so that I can still use my phone when I'm running. They're super comfortable and they're kind of grippy, which is good, and they're not super heavy. Um, absolutely love these gloves. I've had lots of different running gloves over the years. Here in Atlanta, it doesn't get too cold, but it can be freezing when I go out for my run. And these are light enough weight that when I warm up and I don't want to have them on anymore, they squish up really small so I can just stick them either in one of my pockets. Um, they'll even fit in the front of this. And I like that about them too, because a lot of times I'll take my gloves off during a run and I don't want to have this big bunchy thing that I'm trying to deal with. So definitely love of these and those are by head and I'll put the link below. All right, the next item, this is kind of an old lady running item, but these are my running sunglasses that have bifocal lenses. So they're not the most stylish thing in the world. I mean, come on, but they're very lightweight. They're very comfortable. They are by, oh please, I need to get my glasses so that I can read what it says on the glasses. That's typical. Um, these are by, or is it Typhos or it's T-I-F-O-S-I. -I. I have no idea how to say that. Anyway, that's who these are by. I did find them at Amazon, so I'll put the link below. The reason you're like, why do you need bifocals when you're running? Well, here's why. If I go to glance down at my phone, which is what I use to track 
my pace. Also, you know, if I get a text message or if I want to change my music or my podcast or whatever, having that little bifocal lens in there makes a huge difference for me um, because I am getting older and my up close, close vision is a little bit challenging. Um, so I love these bifocal sunglasses. I love these too for travel because then if I need to have my sunglasses on, I don't need to be switching back and forth between different sets of glasses. So definitely love these and I will put the link below to those. Our next item, this is a great stocking stuffer, the Noon Hydration Tablets. Um, these are just little tabs that you drop into water. They do take a minute to dissolve. I love these because they're, they're easy to pack. I will use these when we travel. I will always have these, especially if I'm uh, traveling for a race. Um, they have a, a formula that has caffeine and one that doesn't. So if someone is well, first of all, they wanna try anything out before they try it on a run because you don't wanna have stomach upset trying something for the first time and you're you know, five miles out and on an out and back. That's bad, been there, done that. Uh, but they are uh, great. They have tons of electrolytes. Check the formulas for the different ones. The energy one has B12 in it, I believe. The, the regular one does not. So just depending on what you want. Um, but the noon tablets run about $18 um, for, a, I think it's a four pack for $18. So I'll put the link below. I've been using these for years and absolutely love the Noon Hydration tablets. I am not sponsored by them in any way, shape, or form, um, but I love these. So definitely great gift for any runner in your life. And um, the, I think it's the strawberry lemonade is my favorite, or maybe it's pink lemonade. Which flavor are these? Which flavor are you guys? Well, oh, please, I'll tell you what flavor these are because I really like, oh, this is the triberry. This is the one with, um, the Energy Noon, the Triberry, I really like the Triberry. So I usually order them kind of in bulk, so I have lots of them on hand at any given time. Okay, um, this next item is the one that could save your life. So I probably should have done this one first because this is literally the gift that you could give a runner that could actually save their lives. And that is, and I'm gonna show it to you on my shoes, we're talking about my shoes in a minute, this is a road ID. Whoops, I should probably cover that up so you can't see all my personal information. But this is a road ID. Um, the company is Road ID, I will put it below, I am not associated with them. They're actually, if you watch this on Run Day Monday, they're having a great site-wide, I think it's 50% off. These are $20. Now I'm gonna take this off and show it to you. Uh, they have several different versions. They have one you can wear on your wrist. Um, they have one that you can wear on your sports watch. This one goes on your shoes. Um, I have an iodine allergy that is anaphylactic. So if, for example, I was in an accident and I went to the hospital and they wanted to do like CT contrast, they could kill me. So it's super important, but it's really important for anybody that runs. It's a lot quicker for emergency personnel to get to this than to try to find your ID or get to your phone or whatever. It's very small, it's very lightweight. This one just has Velcro that pops on. And what I have on mine, let's read what I have on mine. Uh, let's see, uh, Jennifer LaForge, my um, city and state, uh, Scott's phone number, and it, then it says Scott, his number, and husband. It says my oldest son, his phone number, and son. And then it says iodine contrast allergy. Um, this is, you could give someone you love a gift certificate for this. You could give them, and I know they do that online. You could just go ahead and, and order it for them and stick this in their stocking. This could literally save their life. So of all of the things that I've talked about today, this is the one I feel the most passionate about. Again, it's not an affiliate link, but really consider picking up a road ID. Okay, and those were on my shoes. A lot of you have asked me what kind of shoes I wear. I wear the Ultra Running. This is the Women's Escalante. This is my third pair of these. I am more of a minimalist runner. I don't like a big bulky shoe. And this has been like the perfect uh, shoe for me with enough support, but still meeting that like minimalist need. Ultra running. I'll put the link below. Feel free to order them online and see on sizing. Um, I'm trying to see what size, because I've been wearing the same size. These are a nine. Um, in street shoes, I'm generally an eight and a half, um, and these are a nine. So usually you could size up a half. My recommendation for running shoes though, especially if you've never been fit for them before, is to actually go to a store that sells running shoes. They will, if it's a good store, uh, I like, uh, I think it's called Big Peach Running here uh, where we live in Atlanta. 
they'll watch your stride they have a track and they will make recommendations for you this is my favorite 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 shoe ultra running um, so go to your local running store again you can order them online but i really think it's important um, especially if it's your first time mine running shoes to go and be fit um, by a professional so consider doing that as well okay we only have a couple of items left and it's funny because it's the most expensive item and the least expensive item <laughs> which one should i do First. I guess I'll do the most expensive item first. So these are my uh, head aftershocks, head shocks, aftershocks by Trex Titanium um, headphones. Now I'm going to show you guys how these work. See if we can get under my monstrous amounts of hair. So instead of going in your ears, okay, these rest on your jawbone. Here is why I love these. Number one, they're very lightweight. I have no cords. Of course, they're Bluetooth, so I don't have to worry about any of that. The other reason I love them is because they don't go in my ear, I can hear what's going on around me. I run either, there's a trail run that I do and I also do a lot of street running. So I need to be able to hear if there's traffic coming up, if there's any, thing that I need. I can hear other runners. I could hear a dog. I can hear all kinds of things. I can hear a bicycle coming up. One of the trails where I run is the Greenway here in Atlanta. And sometimes cyclists will go very, very fast. So it's really great that I can hear them coming up on me. It's just a really, really safe uh, way to be able to listen to your podcast, listen to your music, and they're just lightweight. Now, these are the regular size. I, I won these, so I if I had purchased them, I would have purchased the one that they make for women, because this, I do have kind of a, a lot of extra here. It doesn't bother me, but if you have, if you're a woman and you're more on the petite side, you may want to get the smaller version. These retail, uh, they start at $100, and they go up from there. They have several different options. Uh, these will hold a charge, oh gosh, at least two weeks worth of running for me. Um, sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on how much I'm out. I'm in the habit of just charging them every time I'm done with my long run, and that seems to work really, really well, but I have loved these headphones. The only note is you may have to play with the volume because I do get a little bit of a tickle, or at least I did before I kind of got used to them, and also make sure that you, um, when it tells you that it's running low on charge, it's dead. Like she will come on and say, um, charge battery now or whatever. And three minutes later, I have no battery. So, so just know you don't have a lot of grace time. So try to just charge them when you think about it. Uh, but I, and I, I'm sure there's a, how many hours they can go without a charge, but I love these headphones. These are a fantastic gift for any runner in your life. I highly recommend, look how small and they fold up really great and they're really convenient. Okay, and then the last thing I'm gonna show you, these are the Hot Hands Hand Warmers. Now, these, you break them open and they get really, really warm. I have used these several times, especially for races if I'm waiting around in a corral when it's really cold. If your hands get cold, the whole rest of your body will get cold really, really fast. These are $6.49 for a six pack, so what a great stocking stuffer for the runner in your life, but when you first start those really cold morning runs oh my gosh there's just nothing like having something to keep your hands warm absolutely love these they are a great gift for any runner or anyone who walks or hikes or is outside who walks to work in a cold place whatever it may be love these definitely you should pick these up okay that is all i have for today that was a lot of products uh and and as i said i use all of these products i love all of these products i can give them a full endorsement because i use all of them on a regular basis i hope this was helpful for you um, again i always like to be fully open with you guys at those affiliate links i do get a very small but i do get a commission from amazon for those so i would appreciate if you would use those and interestingly even if you end up buying a different product but on the same kind of session on Amazon as when you got to my link, I still uh, get a small commission for that. So I appreciate all you guys do. My running friends, I hope your training is going good. If, you're, if you had a struggle of a week like I did because it was Thanksgiving and we had a lot going on, let it go. Uh, you never make up miles. I'm sure you guys know that, but if you have a bad training week, ignore it and move forward. Just look at what comes next and just do the next run. I hope you have a great day. I hope your holiday season is off to a great great start. I will see you next time. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe, give this video a like, and make a comment if you have anything that you'd like to add to the wish list, comments, questions, anything you'd like to see in future videos. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.